Captain Mike's Rigging Station. Whenever you're reef fishing, I don't care if it's off Key Largo or Key West, in order to have a successful day, you need some moving water. I mean, think about it. If you've got current and your chum is flowing off the back of the boat, it's just going to create this massive slick. Everything's going to get a whiff of it, swim up the slick, and it's just a matter of time before you get tight. If you have no current, it's all just going to sink straight below the boat, and you're not going to create that long spread, okay, that long chum slick. So current is vital. And if the current is flowing in the same direction that the wind is blowing, well, you're in for some hot action because that sets the stage for ideal conditions. You don't want the current and the wind to be opposing. Then what happens is your chum and your baits go under the boat and it becomes quite challenging. If you can't find any current, you know, or if you anchor up in a spot and there's no current at all, Gosh, I got to tell you, pick up and move. Do yourself a favor, pick up and move because you really need that moving water. It is that important to a successful day on the reef. Now understand, I'm really not excited about the small 12 to 14 inch yellowtail snapper. If that's the only thing that's biting on the reef, well, of course, putting together a limit catch might be what you want to do just so you can bring home some fresh fish for dinner. But that isn't really what excites me. I try and focus on the bigger stuff, the bigger mangrove snappers, potentially a trophy mutton, because again, 20 pound mutton snappers, 30 inch muttons will swim in 30 feet of water, okay? Black groupers, <laughs> Let me tell you, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds in that depth of water as well. But you got to be ready for it, okay? You really do. On other occasions, the fish are going to be higher up in the water column. Cereal mackerel are a favorite target, especially this time of the year. Great to eat, hard fighters, often abundant. But there's also big king mackerel that roam the reef higher in the water column. Uh, yellow jacks. Cobia, you just never know. Buddy of mine just got a beautiful African pompano, 30 pound African pompano in 28 feet of water. So you never know what's gonna eat your bait. So we start off with some seven foot, six inch spinning outfits, okay? This is just a chaos gold, eight to 17 pound class spinner. We use it for so many different fisheries. It's matched to a Shimano Stratic 4000. Plenty of line capacity, not that I need it in this venue because I'm fishing relatively shallow water, but remember, a 30 pound king mackerel is a possibility, a big cobia, they're gonna smoke you, so you really need to have uh, some ample line capacity.